Welcome to a new video here from the mountain hut. You can see it's quite cold already. It's winter. Uh, maybe you can see there's already snow on the higher mountains. There was already snow here as well. But we had a sunny period now and this, the, the snow is gone. And that's also why I want to do a, a last experiment here before this will go to hibernate. So as you can see here, I have the solar panel here. I don't expect a lot of um, current flowing with the current sun. It's also a bit cloudy. But what I want to test is if the Victron charge controller has a low temperature cutoff. Because I had a long discussion also online about low temperature cutoff and what I should use. And of course there are multiple options what I can do. Maybe to, to show you that. So I have a Victron charge controller here. This one is with Bluetooth and I can't connect the temperature sensor directly uh, with the charge controller. I can only do that via Bluetooth. And I mean, here's the battery, right? It's just a couple of centimeters. I don't know if it really makes sense to buy a Bluetooth adapter. The Bluetooth adapter is also not that cheap. It's around uh, 40 euros. And apparently what, what I would need is just a simple one wired, but this one, uh, is not supported, but there's a built-in temperature sensor. At least that's what the specs say. And I don't know if, if that works as expected. And that's what I want to try out now. So the ambient temperature, it's around zero, right? The dog, also quite cold, is that correct? Maybe on the surface. The battery has around zero, one, um, so the perfect setup, because you shouldn't charge your batteries um, when the temperature is lower than zero degrees Celsius. For those uh, batteries, um, you can see that in the in the specs, um, you can charge it with a 0.1 C um, down to zero degrees, and even from zero degrees to five minus five degrees Celsius, you can charge it with. 0.05 C, which is around um, 5 amps, still 5 amps, so that's completely fine. Um, but it, now it should be around zero anyways. I just want to see if the charge controller, the, the built-in temperature sensor, which is completely fine for this setup because it will always have the same temperature here um, to see if it works. In general, for my setup here at the mountain hut, it is not that critical because during the winter we won't have the solar panel on the roof anyways because we will have snow and it's cold and uh, yeah, up to three meters snow so I, um, nobody's here anyway so it's, it's not a huge problem. But the problem is um, it can be already quite cold here, right? We are on 1600 meters or applying our known factor now of around three, around 5000 feet it's quite cold already, so there might be sun, the solar panel is on the roof, but inside of the hut it's already super cold because um, when it cools down during the night, um, it will stay like that inside of the hut where the batteries are. And that's where I really want to have this security net. If it goes down to, I don't know, four degrees, three degrees, then no longer charge the battery so that the battery is safe. And that's what I also want to um, achieve with this low temperature cutoff if it works with the Victron charge controller. Okay, so I'm connected now with the um, smart solar controller. Um, I will just, if we go to battery, um, I will just go down with the maximum charge current, so just to be on the safe side. And then here we have the low temperature cutoff it's at around 5 Celsius, so it shouldn't charge the battery right now if we attach the solar panel. So this is the connection to the, to the solar. Um, we can also quickly just switch it off here on the breaker and then connect the, the solar here. Oh, that's connected. Perfect. Now let's see. We don't see anything here, of course. That's fine. If we now let's see this one, still nothing. 
if we switch it on. Okay, so it's charging with one amp, 1.5 amps. Okay, that's not good because it's definitely below 5 degrees, I would say. Let's quickly check that again here. It's around zero. So that's not good. Let's quickly check that again. We have five degrees here. So maybe this just works with the external Bluetooth temp sensor, which would be really bad, to be honest, because there is a built-in sensor that's written on the specs. Okay, it's written here, so... Yeah, I know. So it's written here, as you can see on the screen, when the battery temperature is shared by another device in the smart network, Victron. So that's that's really bad. I I, I really don't like that. Um, definitely not. Because that would mean that I have to spend 40 euros for my setup here, just for having a Bluetooth adapter to um, measure that temperature here two centimeters away from my, my charge controller. And that would mean I also have a, another point of failure. That's the problem here. On the mountain hut, I want to be as simple as possible. That's also why I use the really dumb uh, DALI BMS. So I don't have a, a Bluetooth BMS. I know there are better BMS with temperature sensors and everything, but I'm a software developer and I know that if you have a more complex system, then you have a higher probability of failure. And that's why I also don't want an additional temperature sensor here, a Bluetooth temperature sensor. For me, that's that's kind of an overkill, to be honest. And as far as I know, you can't connect a wired simple temperature sensor here, a really simple one. So I guess I have to think about another solution, what I can do here. And if you have any ideas what I can do, a simple a simple solution for my setup here please write down in the comments what i can do and especially for the upcoming um spring that i have a, a secured system here that ah come on dougie don't disturb my camera movement um okay so that i have a safe system for uh, the mountain hut here and that i'm also safe whenever the temperature goes really down inside of the hut, but the sun is, is out there and I could charge the battery. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.